Welcome to Business English series with Pustikat Kewangan Umum. Today's video is about the language functions in business telephoning. And again with me, your facilitator, Evidia Indrawati. Today I want to show you how to use the right language functions in your business telephoning. Okay, let's check out my explanation. First of all, let's define what is a language function. I put it here from Savignon in his book, saying that language function is the use to which language is put, the purpose of an utterance rather than the particular grammatical form an utterance takes. That definition means language function explains why someone says something. You know, when we communicate, there must be certain purpose why we say something, such as for apologizing, expressing a wish or asking permission, and so on. Each purpose is called a language function. Let's see here. I put four different functions as examples. Can you see the difference in each sentence under each picture in this slide? Now, if you see the function from left to right are like this. Instructing, apologizing, suggesting, and promising. Now, in this video, we are going to learn the functions commonly used in making business telephone calls. But I want to remind us again about language register. Still remember what a language register is? Now, in business conversation, the common language functions are mostly expressed in formal register because we speak in formal settings. Therefore. Using formal indicates that you are polite in all situations, especially in business conversation. So, let's learn some common expressions and make sure that we use a courteous, friendly intonation, okay? Here we go now. Beginning English telephone conversation starts in the same way. That is by introducing ourselves or our unit of work after greeting. You say, for example, Hello, this is Evidia. Or, Hello, R&D department. To let the people know who you are. If you answer the phone and the caller doesn't give you his or her name, you can say, May I ask who's calling, please? Introduction Here are some common expressions to begin your phone call. Hello Good morning Good afternoon Good evening This is Joanna Brown speaking. Could I speak to Mr. Barry, please? I'd like to speak to Andy Prima, please. I'm trying to contact Rachel Maya. Asking for purpose. When you receive the telephone, ask, how may I help you? Or how can I help you to ask for your caller's purpose? Another way is using, how may I assist you for a more formal register? When you want to speak to a specific person, Ask to speak to him or her with a polite question starting with may or could. For example, may I speak to Rachel Smith, please? You can compare that with, I want to speak to Rachel Smith. You sound not so polite if you don't use may or could here. So to polish your request, just add the word may or could or just simply add please. Next, you can use polite questions when you are talking about the reason for your call too. For example, could I talk to someone about training registration please? See, if you add please every time you make a request, that will save your time with mannerism. Holding and transferring 
When people ask you to hold during a call, they just mean wait. When they are ready to connect you to the person you want to speak to, they will use the word transfer or put you through to talk about connecting your call to that person. For example, Please hold. Okay, I'll put you through to Rachel Smith. Other expression that you can use in these functions are Thank you for holding. Thanks for waiting. The line is free now. I'll put you through. I'll connect you now. I'm connecting you now. But what about when it's not possible to connect? You can say, I'm afraid the line is engaged. Could you call back later? I'm afraid he's in a meeting at the moment. I'm sorry, he's out of the office today. I'm sorry, he isn't in at the moment. I'm afraid we don't have a Mr. Henry Smith here. I'm sorry, there's nobody here by that name. Sorry, I think you've dialed the wrong number. I'm afraid you've got the wrong number. Leave in a message. There are two ways to leave a message when someone is not available to speak. You can record a voicemail message or have someone write down a message. In leaving your message, make sure to clearly state your name, the reason for your call, and a number that you would like the person to call if you want them to call you back. Ask the speaker to slow down or repeat something if you cannot catch up with the pace. Some expressions of leaving a message that you can use are like this. Can I leave a message? Can I take a message? Would you like to leave a message? Could you give him a message? Could you ask her to call me back? Could you tell him that I call? Could you give me your name please? Could you spell that please? What's your number please? After you have communicated your business, it's time to end your call. End the telephone call smoothly and politely. For example, by saying that you had better get going, you will talk again soon, or you have someone else on the other line. And if you receive the call, you can end by saying like this. Thanks for calling, and if you have any additional questions, please call us. Thanks for calling Pusdiklat Kuan Umum. Goodbye Miss Henny Katikawati, thank you for calling. You've been speaking with Risa Amelia today. Have a good day. So, what do you think now, my friends, with the language functions for business telephoning? Can you make your own telephone conversation now with your speaking partner right away? Let me give you one sample telephone conversation to give you some idea of practice and also to sum up our video learning today. Listen carefully. Cyber products. Good morning. Good morning. Could I speak to Peter Blake, please? Certainly. Who's calling, please? It's Jane Dawson. Just a moment. I'll put you through. Thanks. Jane, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine. How can I help? I'm just calling to ask if you want some help with the organization of the training course next week. Oh, thanks, but everything's okay. There's no need for you to do anything. Sure? Yes. Thanks very much. Okay, great. Have a good training course. Talk to you next week. Bye. Yes, thanks for calling. All right, friends, you've done a good job this time with business telephoning functions. 
keep practicing with your English and I'll see you all later in my next videos. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.